Yo, I'm telling you. See, this is the difference between like when dudes is arguing and when like chicks is arguing, right? When a dude is arguing and he know he don't got no wins, he'll still fake it. Like, yeah, nah, man, I'm gonna F you up. But when a female is arguing and she knows she don't got no wins, she's like, I don't even care. I can't beat you in a fight. <laughs> the stuff that I'm saying is still right. Even when it's wrong. Me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 920 to 10 o'clock for morning coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? I so, yeah. So Cardi B has come out and decided that she's going to talk a little bit about politics. And for all that don't know, Cardi B has made quite a few references to political, uh, you know, politics in general in the past. I, she hasn't really delved too deep into it. Delved? Delved? Delved. D-E-L-V-E-D. Delved, right? Anyway, so she hasn't went too deep into it, but she has... She has spoken about political matters before. What makes this a little bit different? Tommy Lauren, I think that's how you say her name. Anyway, before we go any further, Tommy Lauren is the uh, the young lady that I don't know if she still works for Fox News, but she used to work for Fox News, I believe. And she's the young lady that always comes out whenever any athlete says anything about politics that is like, um, let's stop racism or let's try to do something to, to prevent the police or, you know, from shooting black people, or we should hold police officers accountable for shooting black people, or let's try to fix Flint, Michigan. You know, anytime any athlete, you know, of color comes out and says any of these things, she is the uh, voice that usually screams, just play sports and be quiet. Shut up and play sports. That's, I, I literally, I think that's what her job is. I think 80% of her job is anytime, <laughs> I'm laughing, but this shit is really serious. Like really look up this stuff. I'm laughing, but anyway, I think like 80% of her, 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 her job is to whenever anyone speaks up in favor of a minority to shoot it down because, you know, she's the white lady and... You know, when you're a, a football player, big, strong football player, and you have this white lady say something to you, and then you try to defend yourself, it looks like, oh, you must hate women. Anyway, so Tommy Lauren has decided, Lauren? Lauren? I think, yeah. Anyway, so Tommy Lauren has decided that she's going to speak out on Cardi B. So let me break this down real quick for you. Cardi B... <laughs> has decided that, you know, there was a whole, and I saw these on Instagram also, there was a whole, there was a lot of, uh, you know, memes put up on Instagram or talking about stuff like uh, if you support Trump, uh, you know, you should work for free while there's a government shutdown or you should give the gov people that work for the government that, you know, your money or some shit like that. Anyway, so um, there was a political event actually, and this is the reason why I think that uh, Lauren might be going against her. I don't know if this happened before or after, but there was a, a political event where there was women speaking out about stuff like universal health care and, you know, things like that. You know, women are um, often marching because their, their rights, like many other minorities in this country, have been trampled on. So they're usually speaking out about, you know, the rights that they would prefer for, you know, women to receive. Anyway, at this particular rally or march or whatever it was, there was, there were a lot of uh, signage, you know, speaking about Cardi B and basically, you know, you know, where you would usually be like, let women ovulate or whatever. I don't know what the, the signs say. Shout out to uh, the women's marches and stuff like that. But I, I'm a man and I obviously don't know what these signs were going to say. So um, 
and you know comedic effect. So um, a lot of these signage, a lot of the signage had Cardi B on it in some of the things that they, I guess they think Cardi B would be saying or whatever the case was. Cardi B actually retweeted for um, some of the signage or whatever the case was, right? So Lauren, Tommy Lauren, decided that she was going to come out and throw shots at Cardi B. And what she says, looks like Cardi B is the latest genius political mind to endorse the Democrats. Ha, keep it up, guys. MAGA 2020. All right, so Cardi B told her to leave alone or I will dog walk you. Okay, so one, I'm going to just say this for the sake of, you know, Tommy Loren. You know Cardi B will run down on you, right? I'm serious. Yo, I'm just I'm just saying this. Like, all of y'all women out there that want to beef with Cardi B for whatever the reason y'all want to beef with her, y'all do know she will run down on you, right? Seriously. I'm not saying that because it's like, yo, she from the ex. You know how we do. I'm not saying that. I'm saying from past knowledge of when Cardi B is like, yo, screw this. You know what I'm saying? She's kicking her shoes off. She know what I'm saying? She get she tied her hair back. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we ain't talking about this no more. We about to do something about it. So, um, Tommy Lauren, I just want to know, do you know about this? <laughs> I'm just curious if she knows about this. Anyway, so, uh, Cardi B is like, yo, leave me alone or I'm a dog walk you. And then, uh, Miss Lorraine, Tommy Lorraine says, I'm sure you would. Still doesn't make your political ramblings any less moronic. Build the wall. And now this is the most interesting part about all of this to me, besides the fact that I don't know if that signage happened before or after this beef went on. But this is the interesting part. So Cardi B tweets back, and this is not a knock on Cardi B. I don't know if she had a lucid moment. Because Cardi B, she, she's on go. So, <laughs> yo, I'm laughing because I could just see, like, Tommy Lorraine being somewhere thinking she's safe. And Cardi B like, yo, let that bitch go right there. <laughs> like the crowd partying and shit. Oh, man. And she like getting like a D in the headlights. You don't know what's going to happen next. The cameraman don't know if to keep filming. Fox is like, let it roll. Because, you know, Fox News, they okay. They like, let everybody catch all that on tape. They like, let it roll. And you know, don't help us. <laughs> Fox is some dirty people, man. They might they might do that. Like, they might allow Tommy Lorraine to get effed up on camera. So, I don't even know if I'm saying her name right. But get effed up on camera just so they could, like, have the footage. <laughs> We own that footage just so they can have because those guys, I mean, anyway, so um, Cardi B, <laughs> Cardi B tweeted back, you're so blinded with racism that you don't even realize the decision the president you root for is destroying, wait, pardon me, let me say that over, you're so blinded with racism that you don't even realize the decisions the president you root for Okay, so there is some imperfections in the sentence. The decisions the president you root for is destroying the country you claim to love so much. Cardi B wrote this. Cardi B absolutely wrote this. I do not believe anybody else wrote this now. I had like a ton of jokes about how she had somebody else tweet this. <laughs> but now after reading this a little bit more carefully, Cardi B wrote this. Shout out to Cardi B. That's a fact. You are a perfect example on no matter how educated or smart you think you are, you are still sheep. Shout out to Cardi B. Cardi B tweeted that out. And that's facts. And that's facts. Because uh, a lot of the things that, that Trump is doing is actually destroying middle America, which is where more Caucasians live than colored people. So, whatever. Anyway, so... um. <laughs> yeah, but I just found it really funny that she's like, I'm going to dog walk you. And she's like, I'm sure you would. Like, you know, nowadays, Tommy Lorraine is going to like, you know, hire watch outs. Like, not somebody to help her fight, but like, yo, man, Cardi B, yeah, she's actually in another state right now. You could come outside. Because seriously, I really do want to see. 
I really do want to see like Tommy Lauren like on like location somewhere. I don't know, like Afghanistan or some shit. And he he'd be like, she's like in the helicopter, pointing and shit, hanging out like Rambo, like you know that 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 that, that, that you know uh, for everybody that don't know, um, the military helicopters have the wire that like the the like it's like a bungee but it's not really a bungee that you hook on yourself to make sure that people don't like fly out the side so cardi b is like hanging out the side with one of those things clipped on the point like there that bitch go <laughs> tommy lorraine is like what anyway i want to know what y'all guys think about this i think uh all jokes aside i think cardi b held herself down uh well i hope she doesn't go on cnn because that's not her platform that might be problems but um, I think she held herself down well. And this Tommy chick, it is crazy. Like, she just attacks any people of color. She might just be attacking people in general that say anything at all in favor of anything that is against racism. It's crazy. Like, there's other, you know, uh, you know, people who we obviously look at and be like, he racist or she racist. And then when people do certain things, they don't say nothing. They stay shut. Like certain things is like, I'm not touching that. This Tommy Lorraine chick, she ready to touch a thing. Like she don't believe the stove is hot. Anyway, let me know what y'all got to say about this. Leave it down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.